Hello there guys, welcome to another episode of Bus Simulator 16, my uh, single player playthrough. It is Quirty Afro here, welcome to episode 7 I do believe. Um, as you remember in the previous episode I was having uh, an issue with the last objective to kind of get like all the bus stops um, uh, driven on by my drivers and myself. I basically found out that I had to um, essentially delete a line. I had to basically have three lines essentially uh, because having four lines and having three drivers including myself was actually the problem because um, if there was four lines there would always be a line that wouldn't be driven during that week uh, that the objective wanted me to you know complete the, uh, the, the uh, you know the driving on the actual on the line. Um, so my the actual result and actual kind of uh, solution to the problem was to actually delete both the two lines if you remember here in the suburban district and I created this new blue line which is now line uh, five I do believe I had to delete one and two uh, which uh, goes from West Hill Drive and kind of just does the whole kind of suburban district area down to Crown's Rest Street so that was the kind of solution there and it worked and we passed the um, the previous objective and we're on a new objective uh, before we get into that the shout outs go to mr mini oreo and kp games 365 that's again mr mini oreo and kp games 365 their links and stuff will be down below please do show them some love so we have this current objective now which is called important business uh, the city council is pleased with your work so they have granted you access to the modern district a lot of people have uh, uh, a lot of people have businesses there convincing them to take the bus won't be easy okay it would probably be cheaper to take the bus and drive in because of parking charges and whatnot so we're currently with free uh with free routes now going through the suburban district and the uh inner is this the i can't remember what the residential district that's right that's where all the kind of flats and stuff are there and then we've unlocked this new district here this modern district which if you actually remember the previous episode we were looking at some uh, global job offers uh here if i can get it up there we go. We you, we actually you know uh, did some of these uh, global jobs that people uh, who have this game uh, have made offers and stuff like that. I think we did like the deluxe line. I think this was one of them we did, and we actually got to go into the modern district. So you could actually uh, pick a uh, pick a line on these kind of job lists and actually drive in parts that you haven't even unlocked, which was pretty cool. Anyway, we need to get on and uh, build our own company. So uh, we have. Uh, some new objectives. We need to have a route which is at least two bus stops in each of the un uh, to have at least two bus stops in each of the unlocked districts and drive it at least once. Uh, have a fast route that has one bus stop in each unlocked district, maximum of five stops. Drive it and then assign a driver to the route. The driver interval needs to be ten minutes or less. Uh, buy a bendy bus. Uh, requires reputation to unlock and drive it on uh, on a fast route. Uh, connects all unlocked uh, districts max of five stops again so essentially it's like the second objective but just uh, use a bendy bus to drive on it uh, which basically those two can be done essentially together uh, then uh, assign drivers for a max uh, interval of 10 minutes again so again it's pretty much the, sec uh, the second objective so I'm guessing you can do both of them together just uh, have that route that kind of goes through uh, one stop in each district so we're probably gonna have a route that does only three stops pretty much or four maybe and then we just buy a bendy bus and drive on it and then have another driver do it uh, the fourth objective is have at least five different routes you and your drivers drove uh, last week so five routes so that means maybe some more hiring I'm, I'm presuming because if we're going to have five routes and I only have two other drivers, maybe hiring maybe two more drivers would be a good call to do. Um, so that means that I have five routes that I can do simultaneously in a week. So that objective could pretty much hopefully be done. Uh, and then have at least 90% of the bus stops be part of your uh, routes driven by you and your bus driver. So that's again the same objective like the previous one where we have to drive all the lines. So if I could have like I, 90 percent have at least 90 percent we'll just have all of them because there's not much like there's only what one two three four five six 
seven, eight. There's only more eight more stops, and that I can incorporate that into like a few more lines. I think the kind of objective for this kind of important business kind of uh, objective is basically to have about maybe five routes because here it's saying we need to at least have five routes so if we can aim to have about five routes so right now to be honest we have three routes we essentially need two more and i'm guessing the two would be one being uh the fast route that it wants me to make uh which uh is just one stop in this modern district one stop in the residential district and one stop in the suburban district which will be you know easy to do and then also with the first objective it says have a route which has at least two bus stops in each of the not districts well that's then the uh, fifth and final route done there I just have to then basically do uh, two uh, two in the modern district two in this district and two in this district essentially have a route yeah that's that, that's basically it and then even and then you know what else we could even have a sixth route but that's pushing it a little, uh, a little bit, because that might be if he would uh, try and complete some of the, uh, uh, the ones where everyone has to drive in a route or whatever. I'm just thinking if we can, we'll probably use up three stops in this if we were to do five routes, because if we're going to have at least one, uh, have a fast route that has one bus stop in each of the unlocked districts. That has a uh, that has one bus stop in each district, max of five stops. So this can be done with max of five stops. I'm thinking if we, for the second uh, objective, if we have two taken up uh, by uh, uh, by uh, by this like fast line, two in the modern district and then one in each of the rest of the districts, then also with the bendy bus one, uh, that will be for that one. And then for the uh, have at least have a route which has at least two bus stops in each of it, each of the uh, uh, districts. We could then basically do the remainder of the modern district bus stops left onto that final route, and then just have one stop um, in each of the remain like in the suburban district and also the residential district. So that could hopefully cover up everything. I'm hoping. So, what I want to tackle in this episode would probably uh, probably be first, I would love to buy a new bus. <laughs> Which, uh, if you remember, I got this DLC bus, the MAN London City A47M. But, obviously the game wants me to buy a, uh, a Bendy bus. <laughs> Which is really annoying, because I don't even know if there's loans in the game. I haven't actually found... Um, uh, Oh. Oh, that I, I, I did that by. Oh God, no. Uh, yeah, can we sell that? I, I didn't want to do that. I didn't know. You, uh, so basically, there are loans in the game, but it just means you have to buy the bus. Okay, so oh, that's fine. Okay, that, that that was a bit of an experiment there. Um, I'm going to essentially sell. Um, I'm going to sell this bus. I'm going to sell this bus and I'm going to buy the new MAN because that's the DLC one and I promised you guys that I was going to buy this one. Uh, so we're going to buy this one. Uh, we can also customize it up a bit to match our... So yeah, that's the new MAN. The model's uh, okay, I guess. It's a very small bus, but I want it because it's a nice new fancy MAN. Why not? Anyway, let's get to the color we want it to. And obviously we have... Um, uh, decals and stuff. Yes, that's what I want to do. Uh, let's get the flower because that's our decal right there. That's our logo. <laughs> that's just kind of how it's going to be. Uh, do we have any actually any other ads? Because um, I okay, good. We have some more ads, uh, which I'm going to probably add an ad now to each of my buses so we can generate some uh, extra income. What are these? Game arcade. What's this? What's that? I don't know what that is. Looks weird. Um, I like the game arcade one, but where am I going to put it? I put it at the back. Yeah, put it at the back. Let's uh, make it a little bigger. I like that. That's fine. And then it's it's weird. You have to pay for the ad, but then it makes money. So I don't know. We'll uh, we'll add that to that, and we'll 
apply and if we exit now uh, let's go back to our other buses or at least our other buses can make um, the same kind of uh, same kind of money if you know what I mean let's get that big for this man let's have it like that. that's fine and if we exit there and also go back to this bus which is like the first ever bus and it's ugly but hey it's still in the roster uh, then get that and put that there cover up the ugly game developer logo uh, apply that and exit that so now we have three buses I need to basically at some point get that bendy bus and we'll probably go into a bit of debt because of it uh, which will be probably this one will be the SAS Bendy X79 and that also has a ramp but also now uh, with this um, MAN I just bought this has a, a ramp which is really good so now we can pick up disabled passengers which is really really nice but now once we've sorted out that because I was a bit greedy there and actually you know bought the bus I really shouldn't have I should have just gone for the Bendy bus but it doesn't matter I have three buses right now uh, there's me and two other drivers uh, eventually I want to hire two more drivers essentially for the end of this kind of objective because we're gonna have to have at least five different routes you and your drivers have drove on in the last week so I think the first one I want to tackle is probably have a route which has at least two stops so actually we can even do both we can do we can do the fast line and we can do the um, uh, we can do that because so we can essentially build the lines for the first and the second objective and technically the third because the third one will uh, be basically the line that we build for the second objective so if we create a line so let's do the fast route first and I do believe the fast route needs to have at least one bus stop in each unlock district and it has to have a max of five stops uh, which uh, we're gonna so we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have uh, one stop in each of the so we're going to have one stop in the suburban district one stop in the residential district uh, district and then we're going to have uh four more stop no three more stops in the uh in the modern district to fill that kind of five max cap kind of thing uh, i think the fast route should uh kind of go this kind of way and maybe stop uh, terminate at sky arrow tower if i'm right kind of go to the middle if you know what i mean so it would start there, go down, uh, uh, go down this way, then come down this way. So it's done three stops already. Now it needs to do one stop in the residential district area. Which, um, where could it do it? Bakara Street maybe, or Village Street East. I'm not too sure. Come down Bakara Street and then terminate down at maybe Gentian Street, maybe. I don't know. Have it something like that, or maybe terminate here, like at Ray Street or whatever. But I'm just thinking, like, yeah, we could, we can, we can get it, like, go to Baccarat and then come down to, to Gentian Street, and then that's kind of like a fast route. So it it starts at Gentian Street, goes here to Baccarat Street. So it, it it meets in the kind of residential area, even though it's technically not really residential. Well, it's all of this is the residential area, but. We're in it there at Baccarat uh, Street, so that's fine. And then it comes down Junction Street West, uh, Cove Convention Center, and uh, Sky Arrow Tower. So that's that route done. I don't want to drive it yet. Um, then uh, we want a route that has at least two stops in each of the unlocked districts. So this is going to be actually the bigger line, I do believe. This is going to be the line that... This is actually going to be quite a long line. I probably won't drive in this episode of, uh, uh, of my playthrough. We'll probably do it in the next one. But uh, that should be fine. Yeah, so this is going to be the long one. This is going to be the one that probably starts here. Oh, God, no. I need to create a new one. So this is line 7 or 6. I can't remember. So it starts there. It goes there. Uh, then goes, oh, how am I going to do this one? Like that. Oh, God, that's horrible. Oh, that's not good. Um, that's not good. Uh, cancel. How can I create it better? So, uh, if, so if it starts there, comes around. Uh, so, basically, if we start at Trader, go to Future Way go to this 
go to this go to that I know that's pretty long that's already five stops there uh, and it needs to have at least two stops in each of the not districts so it's covering the rest of the stops in the modern district which the other two stops Sky Arrow Convention Center and Junction Street are covered by the fast route and then this one will then come uh, in essentially hmm, and go there then it can go hmm go Fisherman Street uh, then it needs to do one more to be honest San Andrews Church yeah that can do it that'll be, so there'll be two stations in the residential district and then it needs to do two stations in the um, in the suburban district which I'm probably going to put uh, at West Hill Drive and maybe terminate like so Gentian Street will be the kind of main terminus I think uh, for most kind of thing I think that I think that'd be fine or maybe even terminate at St Paul's Church or Chedchia Street I don't know let's do that yeah let's do that why not and then pretty pretty much line um what, what's this line uh, this is line uh, this is line f four it's pretty much like covered by line uh, seven as well but line seven is going to be really busy because it covers pretty much most of the modern district and then just kind of peeks through into here so that hopefully has uh, done those kind of two objectives in a way we have to have the route with at least two stops in each of the uh, unlocked districts and drive it at least once have a fast route that has one bus stop in each of the unlocked districts max of five which we have then drive it and assign a driver to the route the driving tool must be uh, 10 minutes or less which is okay so essentially I want to basically drive the fast route basically and then assign someone as well to the fast route so if I pick up Susan let's pick up Susan and let's put her to line six uh, where's Susan there we go and I don't really know what uh, what's it where's uh, Danielle Danielle could just stay on that line to be honest why not she's experienced she knows what she's doing well I go and uh, test out line six and uh, from Sky Arrow Tower to Gentian Street, uh, let's do it. And we get to try it in our lovely new MAN London uh, Lion City A47M. Let's do a quick start. And no, we're not going to reverse the route. We're going to start from the Modern District. Let's do this. You will receive a reputation bonus if you start and end from your uh, bus garage. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not really too bothered about the, uh, the, the the experience you get in this game is quite high, so I'm already on like level 10 or whatever. Oh, hello. The camera position is a bit odd in this bus. This is the DLC bus if you want to know, and already I'm getting texture, uh, texture bugs. <laughs> Which is really annoying. It's a very small. Oh my god! What is? I I I don't know if you guys have any kind of like suggestions and stuff for this texturing glitch or whatever. I literally have no idea what to do about it. It just flickers for some reason and it just doesn't want to. Um, it just doesn't want to go away. But oh my gosh! Look at this. I I, I have no idea. I've like installed, reinstalled this game so many times and it just it's it's still like this. I don't know. But I'll play it. Anyway, uh, let's have a look also on the outside. Whoa, this camera. Why is it going like sod? Game in arcade, like it, like it a lot. Anyway, let's get let's get to work. Let's get that money. Right. Uh, let's roll. This camera just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel centered to the steering wheel, if you know what I mean, which is a bit annoying. But I can actually hear some new sounds, which is actually nice. That they've actually included some slightly new sounds, but they obviously don't sound like a real uh, Lion City, uh, which is a shame. What can you do? This this game isn't really uh, a simulator. I, I like. I hate these kind of simulator brand games where they put simulator in the name but they're really not simulators let's be honest right oh one thing I want to do 
is I want to uh, put on. Uh, I'm going to put on for this journey. I think I'm going to put on uh, uh, the cashier because why not? Let's do some. Uh, let's do some mental maths. And does it glitch out? Well, yes, it does glitch out. So I might turn it off in a bit. But just look at this. Look at this. This is a game, guys. <laughs> Sky Arrow Tower. Good day, sir. Uh, a regular, that's fine. Uh, okay, I'm gonna turn it off. I, I can't deal with this glitching. It's it's like once this glitching thing is stopped, I'll turn back on uh, the Have cashier. Great. But other than this, other than that, I'm not gonna turn it on anytime soon because <laughs> it's it's annoying as hell. Is that a leaf blowing? Oh my god, that's a leaf blowing in the air. And at least the mirror is uh, is better set in uh, in this MAN than the one that's available on the uh, workshop. At least I can see what's behind me. Next stop, Kolb Convention Center. But it is a it is a smaller bus. I think this is now now my smallest uh, bus in the roster of buses I do own, uh, and it's you know it is kind of sort of a downgrade. But it has again it has the wheelchair uh, ramp now, which is really nice. So at least now we can pick up wheelchair users because I do believe in some uh, in previous episodes I've actually skipped. Well, I've had to. There's no like. There's, I, I wish there was a way that I could just push them on and kind of lift them up onto the bus. But it's so sad that there's no mechanic for that. It just I have to leave them there, which is kind of like a bit awkward in a way to leave a passenger there behind. I really do like the action camera. It's it's actually really nice. The way you can just like drive it and <laughs> drive and it's dangerous, but I'll try it again. It's not really good if I want to know what's coming uh, behind me. Next stop, Junction Street West. Oh my god. I can't really have a sense of kind of width from this uh, view. I'm just going to try and drive as close to the curb as I can. Or just go back into the actual drive and see if I actually drive properly. Look at that rev though. Like, who does the coding for the tr automatic transition uh, transmissions on, this, on, on these buses? Because they're just... Like, the rev meter is always to the, like, uh, extreme end. Like, these engines would just, like, die within, like, a few trips. But this is not how automatic transmissions work in real life for, like, you know, actual buses. But hey-ho, it's not a simulator, even though it has simulator in its actual game title. Like, why couldn't they just call this, like, a uh, bus driver 16 or something like that? Or just just not simulator because it's not a simulator. What? You had an accident that involved an incident pedestrian uh, inc involved an incident with pedestrians. Your current drive session will be terminated and no earnings will be given. Be more careful. What? No way. No way. Okay. Well, okay. Um Okay. <laughs> um, well, let's then, let's then, if we can't, actually, well, let's try and do that again. Uh, how long is the actual route time uh, for it? 20 minutes, and that one's 10 minutes. Let's try it again. Let's probably do the reverse this time. I don't know how I crashed. Apparently, I probably just swiped a pedestrian there, but uh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's do a reverse route, try and do it the other way, and try and drive it properly this time, but... I still find it kind of funny that I managed to do that. Let's actually do something here. I like uh, for the thumbnail. 
what the fuck, I didn't forgot to open the door. Uh, oh yes, that's it. Walk out. And then I can... Uh... Oh, that's me. Get a nice thumbnail for this video. Of the, uh, of the MAN bus. There we go, that's good. Right. Actually, can I take a screenshot of that? Let's take a screenshot of that. I think that should be alright. There we go. Screenshot done. My thumbnail's done. <laughs> Still the uh, annoying texture blips, but I can't do anything about it. Right, second time's a charm. Hopefully we don't kill anyone. I don't think through my series have I actually killed anyone so far. I don't think I have. I think that was my first actual casualty. Which I'm pretty surprised that there hasn't been uh, there hasn't been more. Come on. Very nice. Well, I don't, like I don't honestly that casualty or whatever just happened there. I don't know how that because I was not that close to the curb. I find that really odd that I managed to uh that I managed to swipe someone. Excuse. Excuse me, sir. What? I need a ticket. To the moon. Um uh hey, yeah. drunk. <laughs> the no, drunk passenger. No, no. You you are drunk. <laughs> Oh my god, is that their best acting of a drunk person? <laughs> Interesting. I think that was my first drunk person. Or maybe I have already had a drunk person, I don't know. I want a wheelchair user, because I'm gonna I'm gonna use my ramp. I'm a user, I wanna, you know watch a ramp pop out of uh, my back door. I like that they at least use the actual proper dash of an MAN, but still, it's a very basic dash. It's not that detailed. As I've said in, like, I think one of the first two episodes, this game is very detailed outside visually, but actually in the bus, it's not that detailed. Uh, while with Omsi, it's the opposite way around, where it's detailed in the inside of the bus, but not actually on the outside of the bus, which I think is just hilarious. Oh no, this is not my stop. I have to remember, this is a... This is the express service, this is the fast service, where there's only pretty much five stops or something like that. Yeah, it's five stops. It's a very fast service. And hopefully soon I'll be able to get that bendy bus and we're probably gonna we're probably gonna be in debt when we buy that. It's a bit annoying that you can't take out loans, you just have to hey, buy the bus like and be in debt. Which is a bit annoying. Sure, that sounds good. When? How about now? Oh, right now I can. I'm busy. How are you busy if you're in a bus? Like the guy saying, like you can't hang out right now. You're both on a bus. You're not really doing anything except for, for waiting to get to uh, the desired location you want to go to. I don't know who hangs out on a bus though. I'd kick them off. way while my uh, textures glitch to hell and normally I can't close the doors on that view like why not I can close them while walking around in free cam mode but I can't close them while I'm in that view very interesting and now we turn off from the residential Junction uh, Street West. The residential district, and we go into the modern district, which is pretty cool. 
I think some of the suggestions I've been seeing on some of the forums and stuff for Bosomir is seen is that uh, they're gonna expand the map at some point as well. That's something people have suggested because once you unlock everything, then what else can you really do? And I hope they do certain kind of districts or additions to the game where um, it kind of resembles certain cities, like it's inspired by something or whatever. Like it'd be really cool to. Uh, to do that. I know they kind of go with a kind of fictional uh, theme, but, you know, it would be cool to go with something realistic as well. Anyone else getting on? Let us go. Thank you. But then again, before they start doing any kind of major DLCs and stuff Next like that, as I've already mentioned, the please, center. they need to fix the game, they need to add more features to it, because this game has so much potential. It's a bad game, as I keep saying, it is a bad game, but it's quite fun to play. Uh, but it does scream for, it does scream for some major improvements that could actually make it a decent game. Because, trust me, there have been like, you know, bus simulators before, like City uh, Munich, bus simulator, and bus simulator 2012 and stuff like that, but those are kind of tacky and not really worth my time to kind of invest time into what this game at least has something like, you know, you have your own company and whatever, and that's the kind of aspect that I like, and that's why I've chosen to do a kind of series of it, because it's actually, you know, I like that kind of aspect of making a company, kind of like a bit like in Euro Truck or American Truck Simulator. Back in the business district where we have these funky buildings. Oh, but there's another drunk guy. There's another drunk guy over there. I like how they're just using the one model for like a drunk. That's a bit annoying. I like, do think they'd mix up some models. Like, where's the drunk lady? Why is it just a drunk guy? He does it. Next stop, Sky Arrow Tower. This is the last stop. Yes, it Make is sure indeed. Make sure to take all of your belongings with you before stepping off the bus. Van. Oh, that guy took that turn ridiculously fast. I'm, I'm crazily turning as well, and they're better. Thank you very much. Thank you for testing out the uh, fast line or buddy lines. So let's see how we did that. Good stuff, five stars, because I'm just the best. <laughs> Good income, that's all right. Following drivers have reached a new promotion and another promotion. Suzanne is now experienced and she's, wow, look at the salary just increases, increases. Jesus. And we got ad revenue, which is very nice. The ad revenue does so good, which is really good. And you can see with the revenue that the other drivers are going. Like, my revenue is uh, much superior and higher because I'm obviously the more experienced driver of the uh, the crew. But they're catching up. They're, you know, getting there. It'll be good to, once we all make the same kind of money or whatever. So that is uh, the... Uh, have a route which ha no that's the fast one have the fast uh, route that has one bus stop uh, in each unlocked district uh, then drive it and assign a driver to it so now if I get uh, I, could get, I could get Danielle um, I can get Danielle actually she 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 deserves some uh, something new something spicy oh no actually no Susan's on it um, I'll get Danielle to do I'll get Danielle to do route five maybe 
root five maybe would be good. I think, yeah. Let's, let's give a let's give a root five. We could also hire a new driver, why not, while we're at that. Oh well we're, while we're, while we're thinking about that. Let's see who else we have. Oh we have quite a few more people here. Uh, as I said, I'm going to build a, a fleet of women, so I'm sorry men, I'm not going to be hiring any men because uh, I've already started with all the women and I think, you know, uh, girls run the world. <laughs> um, so let's see, we have Lola Gisi com completed high school at age 22. Loved to take the bus as a child, has 13 cats and loves them all. Uh, okay, um, Cornelia uh, Matcher uh, started as an actor and couldn't handle the fame. Worked for NASA as a driver. Still thinks uh, uh, Still Alive Studios is awesome. <laughs> I love how like a game developer has to kind of brag that they're awesome in their own game. Like that's a bit sad. Uh, Jonah Moore was a police officer, changed size, worked as a conductor for six years, failed to become a rock star. Oh, that's sad. Uh, and then we have uh, Cena, which is began apprentice as a baker, some experience as a taxi driver, can't differentiate between red and green, which could be problematic with the traffic lights and whatnot. I think I'm going to go with... Um, I think we go Cornelia. She's a bit cheap. Um, it was either between Lolo or Cornelia, even Jonah, but um, it'd be good to get them uh, at scholar level instead of novice, which would just take a bit of time to like level it up and 730 points oh okay and she's worked for NASA so you know that to me is decent um, then I can uh, so now we have I have three drivers plus myself if I could get one more driver maybe in the next episode as well once we get a bit more cash that would be good so if I could probably I'll set um, I'll set uh, I'll set on uh, What's it? Line four. Yeah, I'll set on line four. Uh, let's get uh, Cornelia adjusted to things uh, here at Quirty Lines. Uh, so that basically is it then for this episode. Even though we didn't really do much in ticking off things, we've kind of built the foundations here. We've done the first two technically. Uh, we just need to drive, uh, probably in the next episode, I'm going to drive the uh, first objective one so that can get ticked off. Uh, then the second draft will probably be ticked off then again because then uh, what's it uh, a Susan who's um, raring to go on line six will drive it and then that would uh, have the drive it and assign a driver to the route uh, the drive interval needs to be 10 minutes or less so she probably needs to take some practice through that or maybe I need to drive it at some point to kind of get a, a, a like get it lower than 10 minutes or whatever uh, so that's good then we could even possibly look to get a bendy bus by bendy bus that requires a uh, yeah uh, and drive it on a fast route uh, yeah so we basically have to do it for line uh, two have at least five different routes which we have and hopefully if I can then hire one more driver in the next episode then five drivers uh, four drivers plus me will drive simultaneously on five different routes and then that should hopefully do it for that one and then at least I think the 90% one should then automatically kind of be ticked off with that as well so essentially this episode was just building the foundations for this important important business objective so hopefully we can uh, get through it in the next episode uh, by getting the uh, getting the uh, the fast uh, route kind of driven on maybe in the bendy bus maybe if I uh, We'll see. We'll see you in the next episode. Anyway, guys, the shoutouts again for this video go to Mr. Mini Oreo and KP Games 365. That's again Mr. Mini Oreo and KP Games 365. The links and stuff will be down below. Show them some love. I'm enjoying this uh, Let's Play series. Uh, it's going well. Uh, we're speeding through the game very nicely. And um, it's, uh, you know, it's good. It's interesting. I like having this kind of series where I can just power through something and just, you know, have an objective in a way uh, instead of just. You know, like train sim and obviously where I'm just trying different things all the time. Nothing really links together, if you know what I mean. So it's nice having this kind of progressive thing to do with you guys. And I hope you guys are enjoying the series as well. Tell me um, down below if if you're enjoying it too. And um, you know, share it with your friends if uh, if anyone's interested in knowing about this game. Then uh, link them to the series and see how Quirty Lines develops. We're pretty good now. Let's uh, have a look at some statistics. So we have like unlock three districts, own three buses, hide three drivers, uh, uh, number three it's five, Columbus is driven, 27, not too bad, accumulated, uh, accumulated delay, uh, accumulated 24 minute delay, which is not too bad. Uh, 200, over 200 people transported, only one speeding ticket, which is very surprising for me. 
uh, five red lights ran, nine accidents, which is, you know, you're going to have some accidents, you know what. Total accident costs, eh, not bad. Uh, total bus stops, 55, yeah, route lamp. Coffees consumed, oh yeah, that's at the, uh, the garage. And horn used, I haven't actually used my horn at all, which is sad, but we'll probably use it at some point in the upcoming episodes. Anyway, I hope you guys have a lovely day. I will see you in the next episode of Bus Sim 16. Have a nice day, guys. See ya.